Butter, it's okay. It's just your big, brave older sister. Freaking out. From the creators of Doug, PB&J Otter follows Peanut, Butter, and Jelly, three young otters living in the small community of Lake Hoo-Ha. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Aunt Nana's a gorilla? No! Welcome to The Rewind. Today, we'll be counting down the top 10 best PB&J Otter episodes. Before we begin, make sure to give this video a like and hit the subscribe button for good luck. Number 10. The Silent Treatment You'll come? Yeah, I guess. Yay! But you can't come looking like that. Huh? Why not? Pin Raccoon plans a tea party in the hopes of spending some time with Jelly. Jelly's initially uninterested in the idea, but decides to play along. Elated, Pinch suggests that Jelly needs a muckover first and proceeds to give her friend a makeover. Humiliated by the end result, Jelly gets in an argument with Pinch, so Peanut performs a noodle dance in order to come up with a way to fix things between Pinch and Jelly. Number 9. These shoes are made for walking. You've been lacing those new shoes forever. Well, they have long laces. It's cool to have long laces, you know. Peanut can hardly contain his excitement when he gets a new pair of shoes, but they're a lot bigger than his old shoes. This episode is a great lesson in appreciating what you have, as Peanut finds it difficult to walk in his new shoes. No problem. It'll only take me a minute. Number 8. Sleepyhead How can Mr. Raccoon sleep through all that? I can't. Why is Blake doing that? We all struggle with getting enough sleep from time to time, and Mr. Raccoon is no different. He's trying to get some sleep, but the neighborhood kids won't let him rest. Despite their good intentions, they continue to keep him awake against his will. No more noise, please, okay? Daddy, he's having so much trouble sleeping. Number 7. Go away, gorilla. Peanut, it's, it's a gorilla. No, it's just my imagination, just my imagination, just my imagination. Right? Right? While we're on the topic of not getting enough sleep, Peanut, Butter, and Jelly all try to get some rest, but they're afraid there might be a gorilla hiding in their room waiting to eat them alive. Faced with this horrifying scenario, the siblings begin to plan their defensive strategies. Peanut, Bubba, and Jelly Sandwiches! Yeah! Right! That's it! Number 6. Peanut Cries Uncle Hey, Peanut! Why don't you come sit right here on my other side? Um, okay. Seeing someone you love focus all of their attention on someone else can be tough. In this episode, Peanut becomes jealous when Aunt Nanner begins spending all of her time with her new acquaintance, Rudolfo. Little does Peanut know, this is only the beginning of something much deeper. Do you think Aunt Nanner likes Rudolfo more than me? Oh, Peanut, no! Yeah, Aunt Nanner and Rudolfo are just very good friends. Number 5. Nanner Says I Do Will you marry me? In a continuation to Peanut Cries Uncle, Nanner and Rodolfo's relationship turns into something much more serious than anyone had expected. The two lovebirds surprise everyone when they announce plans to get married on Lake Hoo-Ha. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Number 4. Peanut Overboard Even though it doesn't have wings or colorful marbles and isn't pink, do you like it? It's nice. Yeah, nice. That's the word I was looking for. Using nothing but popsicle sticks, Peanut builds a sailboat and decides to show it off to all of his friends. Unfortunately for Peanut, he starts to feel defeated when his friends don't like his sailboat as much as he thought they would. She's just a boring old sailboat. There's no way I'm going to win the contest. Number 3. Mama for a Day Check on Mama. 
Opal comes down with a cold and needs to rest, but there's no one to take care of her chores. That is until Peanut, Butter, and Jelly all volunteer to help their mom out and take over Opal's responsibilities for the day. You know we're not supposed to watch that junk, but we're supposed to be helping Mama. Number 2. Babbleberry Day Watch out, fairies! Babbleen is here! Prepare to get picked! Ernest is planning to pick some babbleberries and make turnovers to sell at his store. Unfortunately, he has to fix the snooty's water pipes instead. Peanut, Butter, and Jelly decide to help their dad out and pick babbleberries for him while he takes care of the snooty's plumbing issues. This is gonna knock Mama's socks off! Well, if she wore a socks. And number one, Come Back Mama. We want to teach you a song. Mama, Mama, it's a great song. It's called Come Back Mama. Mama? When Opal returns from a week-long visit to Aunt Nanner's house, Butter immediately grabs a hold of her mom's legs and refuses to let her go, in fear that Opal might leave again. Peanut and Jelly then try to think of a way to show Butter that even if Opal leaves for a little while, she always comes back. When Mama goes away, she comes back again. Again, again! And that's it! What did you guys think of our list? Before you leave, don't forget to give this video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments down below. Go ahead and check out these other videos from The Rewind, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss another video again.